everyone, it is Lisi and I am in Japan. It still feels a little bit surreal. I arrived last night, so I haven't like actually been outside in the daytime. But I'm just so excited to be here. I'm so excited to be traveling again. I'm gonna be in Japan for two weeks. And for the first few days, I'm gonna be solo traveling. I'm all alone and I'm focusing on filming some videos for you. Until in a few days time, my mum is going to arrive. Um, she's been traveling overseas and she wanted to stop over somewhere before she came back to Australia and she's never been to Japan. So it's gonna be her first time in Japan. So that's all happening in a few days. But for now, it's just me. And since you know it's a little bit quiet in the mornings, I am ENFP with no one to talk to. <laughs> I thought we could do some outfits of the day. Uh, so let me start you off with the one I'm wearing now. And handily, this hotel actually has a nice big mirror. So let's hop over there. So the weather right now is around like 16 to 20 something degrees Celsius, which is a little bit cooler than what Australia is like right now. We're still up in like the mid twenties, but I wouldn't describe it as cold. It's very much just like pleasant weather, but definitely you need a jumper or a cardigan. Hence why I'm wearing a jumper. So today's outfit, I actually didn't plan to bring this like combo of the polo top and the sweater, but I feel like it worked out pretty cute. I feel like I should put a necklace on. Hold that thought, let me grab a necklace. Popped on this little Ana Luisa butterfly necklace, which I feel like is so cute because it's really dainty. It's like silver with a little bit of like a glint of like shimmery shine to it. So I feel like that, you know, just adds a little, you know, just accessorized. That's what accessorizing is, is accessorizing. Is accessorizing. Anyway, um, the outfit essentially is, you can't really see, let me see if I can like, ooh, ooh. I have a little crop polo. It's the one that I wear all the time. It is from YesStyle. I don't know if they still sell it anymore. I don't know if I would also like recommend it. Basically like the shape of this and the fit of this is like pretty much perfect to me. I just want it like in a slightly more breathable fabric, but because it's cold here, it sort of doesn't really matter as much anyway. Um, but I pop this underneath this jumper, which I got from Cos. Um, it's like a nice wool blend. I got it on sale. I got it like 50% off, I think, when I went to Sydney once. So, um, yeah. And then I have these jeans. I only brought three pairs of bottoms on this trip because while I want to be like cute and stuff, I also want to be really comfortable. I'm going to be doing a lot of walking. I'm going to be doing a lot of filming. So I tried to make like essentially a mini capsule wardrobe um, where I can like mix and match my kind of top sets with my bottoms. Um, and I don't, I don't mind this combo. It's quite colorful. Um, these are some of my favorite jeans that I got from Lucan, who I did a video with last year. Um, but they're just like really nice and baggy and slouchy and comfy. The only thing is because these are quite like oversized, I feel like I can't really like tuck the jumper in like, cause it just sort of looks like bulky, if you know what I mean. So I'm going for like more of an oversized relaxed look, which is a little bit of a different silhouette for me, but um, I think I'm gonna be really comfy in it. And I also put a little bow in my hair. Let me see if I can <laughs> show you. I don't know, I thought it would be cute. Uh, most of the time in the vlogs you're gonna be seeing, you're just gonna be seeing me from like here up. So <laughs> I've worn my filler disruptors to death. Um, they are falling apart. They do have like holes in the heel. It's a bit of a sight, it's a bit of a state. However, even though I thought I ordered them with like plenty of time, like over two weeks um, to come, I didn't realize that the shoes I ordered from an Australian website would be actually shipped from the UK, so. So no biggie, I will just wear my old ones. I'm not gonna focus on them for too long because they are not the best looking, but they're mostly covered by my jeans anyway. Um, these are just my old filler disruptors. They are quite trashed. So yeah, oh, also um, this hotel room, you can wear uh, shoes inside. It doesn't have like a little well for removing your shoes, just as an FYI, because that is very much a thing. Some accommodation options in Japan will want you to take your shoes off, um, but this one and a lot of like kind of more westernized, western catering hotels, you're cool to keep your shoes on, so. But yeah, oh, also just before the trip, I got my like curtain bangs cut back in and I toned it so it's a little bit more ashy and I'm really happy with how my hair is looking at the moment. I'm, I'm pretty into it. This, I would say, is pretty close to my natural color, which is kind of the vibe we're going for, but I don't mind a little sort of like slightly unnatural like gray tone to it. I think it's fun. So yep, that is the little outfit of the day. I'm trying to get a like wider shot for you, but I'm just kind of like, now I'm in the bathroom. There you go. <laughs> that kind of works. 
Also in terms of a bag, I'm gonna be taking this backpack around with me and I found my keychain that I got on my last trip to Japan, which can hold my little Passmo card, which is your like public transport card. Um, but you can also use it in vending machines and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I have my little backpack uh, just cause I have a few things I need to carry cause I'm filming. But uh, yeah, you might recognize this from like a little bike haul I did a little while back, but I purposely picked something kind of more neutral so it could fit with like all the different kind of colors I like to wear. But yeah, that is the outfit for day one. Just something cute, a little bit preppy, a bit girly, pastel colors. That's kind of the vibe for the trip. I'm really excited, so I'm gonna skedaddle. <laughs> but yeah, day one. day two of Tokyo and I am all ready to go just finished doing my makeup um, and packing up because I'm actually moving hotels because I had this like idea for a video where I would compare a few different hotels and I don't really know why I decided to do that because like logistically it's kind of like an interesting choice but um anyway let me show you today's outfit okay okay out of tricky so today we've gone with like a little blue purple theme I mean I say theme loosely because the purple is only in the top but uh anyway I noticed yesterday that it didn't really get that cold so I wanted to wear something a little bit more lightweight um and also since I want to try some clothes on hopefully um just something that would just be like on and off rather than like multiple layers today I'm headed to Amorosando and Harajuku again filming another video but yeah this is actually a super old top that I have from 66 girls which is a Korean clothing brand um I pretty sure they would not stock anymore but it's funny because this is the kind of top where I kind of just got it to be quite like simple and basic and I always was like oh I quite like how I look in that top but like you know day to day I feel like it's kind of it, like it's just a striped top but now that I know that I'm like a summer or whatever I mean color analysis isn't everything but now that I'm like aware of which colors are meant to be my best colors I'm like oh these colors are the colors and that's probably why like when I wear it I feel like I look really lively and bright and then I'm also wearing this mermaid denim skirt from Lukin. Uh, I have worn this a lot since I've got it actually because it's got a bit of stretch in it um, so it's really comfy but I also feel like it's kind of flattering um, you know but there's a nice combo of things that I like. I want things to be comfortable and I want them to look cool and fun and fresh so uh, those two things and then dun, dun, dun. and then the shoe situation is the same. I have my old beaten up feelers and a little pair of uh, kind of teal gingham sort of socks. Where I'm heading today, there are a few shoe stores, so I might have a look and see what they have because I feel like the kind of sneaker collection slash culture here is um, quite good. Like I was looking online and I was like, wow, they have like so many styles that we just don't have. And a lot of them are a lot more affordable too. The only thing is that I'm a size uh, women's nine US, um, so like European 40, which is like 255. Uh, in Japan. So I don't know, although in saying that with sneakers, a lot of them are unisex, so I could probably wear like the men's ones. But unfortunately I do feel like I tend to be drawn to the like more feminine designs that they don't like make unisex, but um, we'll see. Anyway, babbling. Point being, uh, my shoes look like garbagio, but we're just, we're moving on. <laughs> and then I also wanted to do like something kind of cute with my hair. Um, I don't know, I feel like I don't really do a lot of cute stuff with my hair at home because I'm just like at my desk, but because I'm like out and about, I'm like, Let's do some little like cute ribbons um because then it like looks nice and again on camera and i'm the one who has to edit it so <laughs> i don't know it's a very like simple kind of outfit but i feel like the ribbons just make it a little bit more like a, an outfit rather than just like a vibe oh bag i really liked using my backpack yesterday but i noticed that um especially when i'm like filming it was kind of annoying me to get my camera in and out and that's the thing right with like travel and stuff like sometimes you'll be like oh this will be like the perfect travel bag and it's not till you're like traveling where you're like eh, like trial and error so i will be using the backpack again um especially for when i'm out with my mom or we're like kind of you know walking around and i'm not filming as much like content so i wanted to test out how my little telfar tote would go today because i can wear a crossbody i can easily reach it so i can pull my camera in and out like really quickly um and you know it's old faithful i have used this bag so 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 much like totally worth it so um 
figured I'd see how it does in like this context because I realize I haven't actually taken it like traveling slash like for filming in this way because I haven't been traveling or filming. So anyway, it's hard for me to get a little rant, but this is the outfit of the day. And I'm gonna go get a quick bite to eat before I check out. And then we're headed off to Harajuku. Just popped on a jumper because it's a little chilly outside and I'm gonna go get some dinner. This is the one I actually got on Bali. It's from a Japanese brand called Spick and Span. I wore it to the airport and like on the plane, it was super nice because it's like a wool blend. So it's really cozy and soft, but it doesn't make you like overheat or anything like that. Yeah, I really like my look today. I felt really comfy and cozy. Anyway, dinner time. Hello, it is day three in Tokyo. I have changed accommodation for the other video that I'm working on. And I'm about to get dressed, but I figured before I did, I would show you my yukata that the hotel gave me to wear. Very comfy, very cute. And I have these cute little uh, tabby socks as well. Anyway, let me get dressed into my actual outfit, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie, and here is the outfit for today. Uh, the classic, <laughs> the return of the white crop bralette. Uh, just this little one from Zara, which I have worn way too much. Um, this is my first time wearing this really gorgeous cardigan I got on sale from Steel, which is like an Australian brand. Their knitwear is just so pretty. Look at the little chunky texture on this and like the open knit with like the little bobbles. Ugh, ugh, it's so cute. And then I have my little secondhand Vivian Westwood pearl choker. And right now I'm just wearing socks, but uh, you already know. <laughs> it's the same pair of shoes that I've been wearing the entire trip. It's meant to be a little bit warmer today, hence why I opted for the like singlet with knit option. It's meant to get up to about like 25, 26 uh, top, but it should be sitting around like 21, 22, which is nice and temperate. Today I'm gonna film the second part of shopping in Harajuku because I literally did not have time. <laughs> Even in just walking around Aoyama and some of the back streets of Harajuku yesterday took me like hours. So I am going back to finish that video today. There you go, that's a fun angle. Eh, 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 eh. Again, the entire theme of the outfits of this trip is comfy and cute. Let's do that. Good morning, it is day four, which is my final day solo traveling in Tokyo, which means we're on to the last outfit. And today we have this little option. I do have this jumper as well, which I will show you at some point. But for now, I am just wearing this. This is the polo top that I wore on day one. We're recycling it. I did a very glamorous smell check and it seemed fine. Plus I am going to be heading to Kyoto with my mum this evening. I'm picking her up from the airport. I'm so excited. But where we're staying in Kyoto, our room has like a little washer dry set up. So I know I'm going to be able to wash it like tomorrow anyway. So same little Yes Style polo, which we already talked about. Wearing my little Anna Luisa butterfly necklace again. I feel like I always forget to wear necklaces unless I'm like really planning for the necklace. But I have been getting a lot of wear out of this Ana Luisa butterfly one. I think it's super cute. Pants are these kind of like corduroy, really comfy ones from Nuf Poem, which is like a Korean brand that I got off YesStyle. I don't know if they're available anymore, but they are like 100% cotton. I think they're either 100% cotton or a cotton blend, but they are super duper comfy. Got like a stretchy waistband. I don't love how the stretchy waistband kind of looks on its own, but I will be planning to put the jumper on top, which kind of will conceal that. But I opted for these super duper comfy pants today because I will be taking the train later. So I just wanted to be really comfy and cozy for that. But also because yesterday it was a lot hotter than I anticipated and a lot hotter than the days it has been previously. Did that 
was that a sentence? It was hot <laughs> the last couple of days. It was like 25, 26 degrees. I even got like a tiny little bit of sunburn, which is really, really bad. But because the other days it had been just like so cold and like overcast and rainy, I just wasn't expecting it. So I am absolutely lathered in moisturizer and sunscreen and I have a little bit more of a higher neck option today. But anyway, it was very hot and uh, the, the chafing situation was pretty real. I did like 15, maybe 17, 18,000 steps yesterday, which love walking, love public transport, no problems there. However, it was hot and it was sweaty. So we're doing pants today to prevent that and allow those wounds to heal. Just being honest with you about the real, the real glamours of travel. I put this little bow in my hair because I feel like it sort of changed out from very like utilitarian vibes to suddenly it's ballet core. Like it's not, but to me, it is. And then the exact same shoes, you already know what time it is. Anyway, I'm now headed to the hotel breakfast, um, but I will be back and I will show you what the jumper looks like at some point. Okay, okay, and here is the outfit of the day with the jumper on. It's this little Banana Republic, like wool cashmere kind of blend pullover that I picked up in Koenji. So yeah, I feel like I'm kind of giving like Tintin vibes, you know what I mean? With the, the collar and the blue jumper. It's giving meddling reporter. To be honest, I do think this like little combination would be a little bit cuter with the skirt that I brought. However, again, we are going for comfort as I do not wish to repeat yesterday's chafing incident. I am still healing emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Plus I'm gonna be running all around Shimakita Zawa today filming, so I need to be mobile, agile ready for action. It's also like a really nice thin layer. We'll see how it is when I get outside, but I like that it's sort of thin and the material composition gives breathable. So hopefully even though it's a little bit sunnier outside, I have like a little bit of extra like UV protection. But yeah, that is it with the bag that has all the things in it. Um, I think it's pretty cute. It's very much like a travel outfit for me. It's quite different to like what I would wear on the day to day if I was going like super cutesy, but again, cute slash comfy. Alrighty, I'm gonna skid out of Scoodle because I have a lot to do today, but uh, yeah, that's the last outfit of the day. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.